Cover up and fake is how the eminent architect Joseph Stein described our times. Scams, intrigue and corruption are the order of the day. But for Joseph Stein, creator of such iconic buildings as New Delhi's India International Centre and India Habitat Centre, there exists in Delhi one oasis of integrity and excellence Aksara, to me, being an architect, is an example of the importance of craftsmanship. Secondly, and equally important, is, is an expression of integrity in a time of cover-up and fake. The Akshara Theatre, designed and built not by an architect or engineer, but by poet, playwright and director Gopal Sharman, was for Stein an oasis of purity purity of line, of heart, and of design. There are, there are many things that are exciting about Aksara. They are a work of beautiful craftsmanship, for one thing. They are appropriate for their function. They, en they enrich the life of the workers. And it's an enriching experience to experience Aksara. Uh, in fact, I've always been an admirer of craftsmanship, but I've never seen such a consistent and beautifully worked out work as this. From every detail, the light fixtures, the furniture, the carving, the electric switches, the hardware. So. Aksara, to me, being an architect, is an example of the importance of craftsmanship. Secondly, and equally important, is, is an expression of integrity in a time of cover-up and fake. I'm what is known as a functional architect. My architecture is based upon the concept of beauty with simplicity. And Aksara is an expression of the richness of life, the richness of craftsmanship, and the beauty of dedication. It's a truly unique experience to come here. It's a great work of art. Well, it's an example of, of, of devotion and extraordinary skill and tremendous work. But, but, but Aksara is a poem, a poetry of craftsmanship. And craftsmanship is a very, very rare thing in the, in the modern world, De devoted, loving craftsmanship. Uh, it's, and Aksara actually is an expression of what the world could be like. So I'd, I'd say Aksara re re represents an extraordinary intimation of a better future. But the integrity and poetic craftsmanship that the Akshara represents is now under the threat of extinction from a heartless bureaucracy that uses draconian colonial laws to oppress the performing arts and by the increasing indifference of both the media and the corporate world to take any responsibility in supporting the arts. In almost 50 years since its founding, it has lived up to its name. Rulers, regimes have come and gone, not a few wanting to demolish it. Just pretend the Akshara, all its monumental work, 
does not exist. Done? Right. Year after year, decade after decade, regime after regime. It hurts. Of course it hurts. But for the moment, let that pass. Let's get on with how you can support our survival. All donations, cash, kind, are exempted from tax under Section 80G. Checks or drafts can be made out to Akshara National Classical Theatre of India. What we urgently need is equipment for the Akshara's performance spaces. We have much literary work on our wish list. The Ramayana was one such, written by Gopal Sherman with a Homi Bhabha Fellowship from the Tatars. Now the Bhagavad Gita is another work that needs help. Not just literary work. Gopal Sharman has created hundreds of new pieces of music with his Akshara Music Ensemble. Voice, Sarod, Sitar, Flute, Sarangi, Tabla. They need to be collated and published. We would be happy to name specific areas of the Akshara after an individual or corporate donor. It may be kept in mind that the Akshara has an acre of land in the very heart of New Delhi, minutes walking distance from Connaught Place. Other equipment urgently needed. A silent 150 kilowatt generator, audio and lighting equipment for the 320 seat People Tree Theatre, computers, printers, for our office. The Akshara has an elegant cafe canteen, an excellent proposition for a partner. Helping the Akshara does not have to be a one-way street. It's something exciting for anyone with aesthetic passion. Let's talk and explore what we can do together. The newest project of the Akshara is a stage plus film production of Khwaja Ahmad Abbas's play, Barrister at Law, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi in South Africa. The ardous perfection of his Satyagraha, insistence on truth, which made a Mahatma of him in India, indeed, the world. Abbas Sahib had shown Gopal the script of his play, which he wanted Gopal to bring to life. Khwaja Sahib wrote this in his foreword to the book of the play. Years later, when his niece, Dr. Saida Hamid, a prolific writer herself, with many books and learned dissertations to her credit, brought Barrister at Law to Gopal's notice. He was instantly charmed, as much by Abbas Sahib's trust in my dramatic skills as by Saida's charm and beauty, with whom I would have the opportunity of working on a script that I had liked at first sight years ago, says Gopal. We hope that Barrister at Law will have a run at the cities of Srinagar, Chandigarh, Gurgaon, before it premieres at the Akshara in New Delhi, also in London, New York, and Johannesburg, South Africa. Finally, we will make a film version, inclusive of clips from all the venues where Barrister at Law has played. In all my work, literary, music, sculpture, pictures, the best goes beyond all frames. The page ends, quill drops away, music sings of silence. No beginning, no end. The song is, 
and is not. Thank you. 